Sorry. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Solo Adventurer Live Play. First one for quite some time, actually. I'm looking forward to doing this because it's been a while since I've done one. Um, and I'm going to do a semi-physical game. So it's going to be very interesting. Anyway, who am I? Why are you here? Uh, I am Christian Schiller. You can find many of my outputs, my writing, my audio, my video at christianchiller.com. If you're watching now, subscribe, say hi, leave a comment in chat. This will be a live play, so your comments are very, very welcome. So, what is a live playthrough? I take a game generally optimized for solo play, and I play it <laughs> and see how long that will last me, I guess. I quite often do games on a screen because it's easier, but I'm going to try something vaguely physical today and see how it works. So uh, it's been a while since I've had a two camera setup as well. And if I could show you behind the scenes, it would look very complicated. But uh, here we go. There we go. You can still see me down in the uh, bottom corner there. Um, I can see on oh, my dice right over there. Here's the book we're going to be playing from. We'll come to that in a minute. I've got a lot of lights. There's a little bit of glare over here, but I think it's okay. Uh, there we go. And I've got my notepad up in the top there. I just have to. This is where I'm going to um, put what I come up with. <laughs> so, what am I playing? This is from um, this level one. I actually got this. I was recently in um, Portland, Oregon. And I went to the Amazing Guardian Games, one of the biggest game stores I think I've ever seen in my life. And it happened to be a free RPG day, the day I was there, actually. But I was way too jet-lagged to do anything. But I picked up a copy of this. This is from this year, as you can see. Um, free RPG day, quite a lot in here. Um, it's made by uh, Ninth Level Games, if you want to find out more. I assume they have them as a PDF and things like that, if you want. Not really sure. And quite a lot of uh, good names here, as you can see. Um, but I am going to go for one of the solo optimized ones. I've put a couple of bookmarks here, but this is going to be the first one. And it is Battle of the Bards. Um, so it's cozy and fun, one to eight. Uh, so going for that. But Dustin Winter, I must admit, I looked this up online and I couldn't really seem to find um, anything about it. <laughs> so, and even if I get to the end, the only information is nothing to do with uh, the game. So I don't exactly know um, where to find information about it. I will put this up probably on the ninth level games Discord or something at some point, and maybe they can put me in touch because I don't know how to find anything more about it. But anyway, let's begin. Um, this is the introduction to Dustin. I'm not entirely sure where to look. I could read from the screen or I could read from the book. If I read from the book, what you'll see is my bald old head. So maybe I will. There we go. Now I can actually read on the screen. So one of the reasons I picked this is A, it worked quite well for solo play. But B, I used to be a musician. So uh, I feel like I'm vaguely qualified. Probably not. But anyway. You are a bard of little renown. So it doesn't matter if I'm not a very uh, good bard anyway. No one knows of you. You're not a very big deal at all. But that could change. If you make a name for yourself, write one great song that captures the hearts and attention of the people, you could lift yourself out of banality and obscurity. You and your songs would be loved across generations. One day they'll tell tales about you while they sing your songs. Heck, they'll tell tales and sing songs about your songs. Mm. Sounds good so far. Um... I just want to double check something before I go any further. Yep. Sure, plenty of people have said that your dream of being famous, a famous bard, is unrealistic. Okay, to be fair, they said you're no good. That's a bit mean. Actually, they said you stink and you should probably hang it all up. You're meaner. Maybe pursue a quiet life for the good of every person and instrument around you. But what do they know? That's a good point. That was then. This is now. You're not about to quit. Not today. Today is a battle of the bards. And you're going to win it. 
Battle of the Bards is a songwriting game where players draw cards to help lyrics for the perfect song. They compete with each other. I'm only competing against myself, so it's going to be fairly easy to win. <laughs> uh, in a Battle of the Bards to see if it will be their song that becomes legend. So what do we need? Deck of playing cards, Joker's removed. I have that. Um, it was a new deck, so it's not very shuffled. <laughs> Uh, some paper, well that's my notepad where it says hello right now. One or two six-sided dice. I have my dice tower <laughs> dice here. And there's no GM. So that's easy. Take the jokers, did that already, out of the deck. Shuffle the deck. I think I'll just take cards randomly instead of, I actually suck at shuffling. So <laughs> part one, creating your bard. Take time individually to write down the name of the bard you'll be playing. Spend maybe 10 minutes. I won't take 10 minutes doing that. Thinking about their fashion sense, playing style, favorite instrument, if any, and voice. Do they cast an enthralling spell over their audience with a voice like honey? Do they stir something primal within others with their raspy growl? Do they bear their souls or keep their cool? Hmm. Name. Well, I've always had this nickname of uh, Chinchilla, so maybe I could go for... Uh, Curie... Doesn't sound very bard like though, does it? Cheery Chinchilla. Mm. <laughs> uh, everyone always mistakes the whole name I have, so maybe we'll go for that. Of I get this a lot from uh, AI Christian Chiller. I think that works. <laughs> um, their fashion sense. Hmm. I kind of want to say furs, but that's a bit... Yeah. Um, hmm. Flamboyant. Flamboyant, but respectable. Whatever that may mean. Let's see. Okay. Flamboyant. But... Respectable. Is that how you spell respectable? No, but it got corrected, so that's okay. Um, playing style. Hmm. Um, playing style. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Maybe Did I move that over? Um I don't know. Flamboyant but respectable. No, that's that, that doesn't cheat. <laughs> that's too easy. Um Misunderstood. Discordance. I know. Oh, no, they just spelled correctly. So discordance is kind of like... Actually, a, a classic example of a fairly popular discordant band is something like Sonic Youth. I'm not saying that Kristen Chiller sounds like Sonic Youth. This is the time of bards, after all. But that's the style. <laughs> or something like that, anyway. Cool. Uh, and favoured instrument, if any. Hmm. I'm not sure how many strings a, a lute had, but let's go for a three-stringed lute. Sort of like... There's a shortcut that always does that, and it's very annoying. Uh, right, okay. Um, instrument, a three-stringed lute. Cool. Uh, okay. Um, a voice. Hmm. I think there is only one way to describe Christian Schiller's voice. Loud. Which could put me into trouble when I recreate the song later. We'll see. 
Um, do they stir primal within others with their raspberry growl? Do they bear their soul or keep their cool? Mm. They deafen into submission. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically how they work. All right, what style of music does your bard usually play? What kind of reactions do your performances receive? What about your character brings this out? Hmm. Okay. Unbridled enthusiasm makes me hard to resist or avoid I'm not entirely clear which one it actually is but I like to think it's the former of course what would writing that one great song mean to them why is it super important that they win the battle of the bands I think here we need to Move that light over a little bit. It's a little bit uh, bright, isn't it? There we go. Um, hmm. Maybe we could get serious for a moment. So how about... Uh, if you hadn't guessed, my keyboard is, is up, up, up here. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> um, okay. Christian has a sick mother. They need to become famous to help them. It's their only way. Make you feel guilty there. Mm. Uh, some name ideas. I think we're good. Christian Chiller. I think, I think we're good with that. Um, I'm actually just going to make this window a little bigger it's going to get longer there we go all right what's next when you're done share with each other the characters you've created i'm sharing them with all of you and any bona fides or titles they have you can really ham it up here mm. i think my title is that uh, i was once named named um, the most dominant singer at school. I think that's pretty, pretty good. I mean, it, it was pure talent, not because I was just so damn loud no one else could uh, compete. It was purely based on talent, definitely. And there was only really actually two other people there. One of them actually was a chicken, but uh, anyway, we'll, we'll forget about that. Okay. Um, we've done our style and personality. I think they're a little bit incompetent, but really fancy themselves. But actually, deep down, you know, there is a reason they need to be doing this. So, do you know each other? Well, it's only me. So, yes, I know myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, where and why is your battle of the bards being held? Discuss and come to a collective decision on this. Whose favour will you enjoy if you win? Is the Goblin Queen putting on this battle for her niece's birthday in the castle courtyard? Have down and out peasants scraped together the coin to put a raucous show in memory of a beloved comrade? Is the my clearly ill hive mind desperate for delicious new tunes? The venue and the audience may have a significant bearing on the kind of song you create. I'm going to go a little mysterious here. So, um, it's being held by a local wealthy lord. Not wetly, you know. Wealthy lord. But really, that lord is a puppet of an evil wizard. Dum dum dum. Plot thickens. Indeed plot thickens very thickly okay what's next 
Roll two six-sided dice. This is how many lines your song will be. By default, you'll have 10 minutes to write your song. Well, we'll figure that out later. Okay, let's hope it's not too long. <laughs> For the sake of brevity, I might do that again. These dice have a tendency to roll very high. Um, that's a little short. How about third time lucky? Yeah. Uh, whoops. Yeah, eight. Perfect. The perfect number. Eight lines. Brilliant. Okay. Cool. Use a deck of playing cards or tarot to help guide you through writing your song. This helps speed the game along and gives you some easy guideposts. Don't start your 10-minute timer yet. Whatever you wrote down about your bard, write down the following. Or oh, wherever, sorry. Theme. Um, epitaph. I don't even know what that means. But anyway, we'll worry about that later. Lure. Beginning, trial, and conclusion. Okay. Well, fortunately, it looks like there's actually something here to help me understand. Whoops. Went out of focus, but there we go. Help me understand what that actually means because... I have no idea. <laughs> I'm kind of playing to the the uh, style of my bard here. Anyway. Um, write down the following. Let's do that, though. So, theme. Uh, epithet. I think that means... I kind of know what it means. <laughs> I think I'm thinking of an epitaph. Yeah, that's... <laughs> and it just corrected it to that, so now I'm not even sure. Maybe I should double-check what that means. Epitet. Okay, because I honestly don't know. So <laughs> let's have a look. Apple Dictionary says an adjective or phrase expressing a quality or attribute regarded as characteristic of the person or thing mentioned. Mm, not really any the wiser, but okay. <laughs> it's like a complicated way of putting something simple. Um, okay, Lua is the next one. Uh, beginning, trial, and conclusion. Isn't autocorrect a wonderful thing? I can keep making all these typos as I go, and they all get corrected for me. Great. Each player draws cards to determine, generally speaking, what kind of story their bard is telling, the theme, what kind of person their subject is. So the subject of the song, I guess, yeah. What draws the subject into the story? The lure, not the loot, the lure. And how it starts, rises, and concludes. You'll draw a card for each of these. When you draw a card, make a note of the suit in the card, of the card, and consult the following table. One column of the table is left intentionally blank. Fill in the blank column before you start writing your song. I... Oh, I see. You make it up yourself. Maybe over here. Maybe we'll just... Ignore that uh, suit for now, because I haven't got a pen <laughs> either. Um, each player should roll a six-sided dice. The person will. Oh, I see. So this doesn't really matter anyway. Okay. Let's see. So for each of these, so six things. Okay. First card. So this isn't really very well shuffled, so I'm just going to kind of do this like this. It's a heart which is the one that's not filled in. So let's draw again. Club. So staves. Uh, theme. Love or fellowship. It's a bit boring, but fine. Uh, I might go for fellowship. I think that sounds more potentially amusing. Okay, so now we go for epithet. Epithet, I guess it's how you say that. I'm a writer, don't you know? Spades. Uh, the Brave Cowardly. I think this is uh, wonderfully appropriate. I think we're going to have to go... Well, we're going to go for Brave, but we all really know that it's actually cowardly. <laughs> the Lure. All right. Spades again. Uh connection hmm okay uh, the beginning club 
clubs. Um, a visitor. Mm. Okay. Now we need the trial. Spades. Not had any uh, diamond yet. <laughs> there are diamonds in here, I hope. <laughs> oh, what the? Hang on. What? Oh, there they, they are. There, yes. <laughs> for a second, I didn't see them. Okay. So we're still going for a trial. And we've got hearts again. Uh, betrayal. Bum, bum, bum. Classic in every story. A word I can never remember how to spell. And then finally, the conclusion. These are all very serious, I must say. Okay. Is it going to be a diamond? Victory. I mean, it, it really has to be. Yay! <laughs> So victory. Okay, we have our uh, six things, I think. Jot down a name. Okay, we've got all this, yeah. All right. Uh, what happens at the beginning? Yeah, this is basically what we already just did. Uh, okay. Now start your timer and write those lines. All right, I will put the, actually all you're gonna be then just be looking at is a um, blank table, which is not <laughs> particularly interesting. Um, maybe is what I'll do. I will uh, switch back to this, hello, and I will bring the text back whilst I work on the, Um, there we go. It's a bit big. <laughs> Let's uh, make that a little smaller. Just a tiny bit more. I think we're good to go. All right. So we need this song. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, here. Hmm. Eight lines. Let's go. Um, hmm. And it should begin. The beginning is the beginning, unsurprisingly. So a visitor. Okay. I think I'm gonna make this about me, but try and pretend it's not, uh, because that's the kind of character we have here. Um, so, okay, brave, so, brave. What's a name that sounds like Christian, but isn't? Uh, brave, sir. <laughs> Actually, not many names that sound like it that aren't it. Ah. Brave young Sris was um, visited. I mean, I don't know if this has to be good. So it's, actually, it doesn't. So, but visited by a lost young. Miss. I think that's okay. That's the beginning. Um, she sat on the hearth and unburdened her heart. Some clever rhyming, Chris. Some clever rhyming. Um, hmm. She set our brave here. I'm actually wondering if this is singable. <laughs> it's getting a bit too much like a poem. 
brave young Chris was visited by a lost young miss. She sat on her hearth and burdened her heart. It'll do. She set our brave... Um, hero? No. Your brave, our brave... I don't really want to put Chris back again. <laughs> Actually, I think I should call that... Yeah, call him call him sis. Them. I'm not sure. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a bit too obvious. Um, she set our brave... Um, I want to say set them a task, but I can't think of something that rhymes with task. <laughs> she said, she ex- okay, let's start this line again, maybe. She explained, ah, she explained her ask. Um, she had a, an impossible ask. Yeah. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Um, three lines into out of eight already, so we better get a bit of a move on here. Uh, and oh, she had an impossible task. Her, we've got to go in for this fellowship here. So, um, her can't really be a relative or a, like a lover because that's not really the same as fellowship. Her, yes, her best friend was lost, drawn to the rost. No, that doesn't really work, does it? Her best friend was lost. I've got to think he's very loud, so this has got to fit that. Best friend was lost. Got a better one. Best friend was a miss. She gave kiss a kiss. No, that doesn't. <laughs> no, that's not really working then. I'm now regretting that name choice. Uh, her best friend was a miss. She broke down in tis. No. <laughs> She pounded a fist. Yeah. Okay, she pounded a fist. Maybe now we get into the betrayal. Or does she betray Sis? Ooh, this is a tough one. Where's the betrayal? Is it between the woman and her friend? Mm, Or maybe it's both. Ooh, plot twist. All right. She pounded a fist uh, after years of um, I had the word in my head a second ago and now I can't think. After years of fellowship (laughs) too obvious. After years of togetherness I don't think that's going to rhyme with very much. It doesn't have to rhyme of course but it's sometimes nice if it does. Um, after years of, after a life, I think, a lifetime, for a lifetime of, for a lifetime of, a lure. Ah, we haven't gone for the lure yet. Huh. After a lifetime of care, she was no longer so fair. I don't know if that really makes sense, but it sounds good. And had taken an evil lair. If you pronounce it a certain way, it works. It's a very long line as well. I'm cheating ever so slightly. We have one, two, three, four, five lines. We've got three more. We need to get the connection. Although there is kind of a connection. Aha! Young Chris... No, Sis, sorry. (laughs) Forgot my own pseudonym. Young Sis 
asked asked her to describe this young no not necessarily this friend for life it kind of works young sis asked her to describe this friend for life she uh, gave the best she could sis thought long and hard actually what am i going to say next it's like on on what has been described so um long and hard Hmm. Thought for a moment. I think this needs to you know, completely change the the style of the line there. Thought. I'm trying to get to a like a. My inner thinking is he recognizes or they recognize who this person is. So, thought for a sec. They recognized the. No. <laughs> Um, thought for a minute they recognised the delimit no um, thought this sounds familiar this is my sister no (laughs) sis thought wait a moment I don't know how I'm going to go from here but I kind of like the feeling of that thought wait a moment i know this face we've got to conclude with victory somehow (laughs) i don't really feel like i'm getting there i'd only have i think one line left one uh two three four five six seven we somehow have to get to a conclusion and victory in one line it could be a very long line, but uh, I thought, wait a moment, I know this face. Sis, turn to the miss, said, don't worry. I have defeated this <laughs> this bliss <laughs> no um hmm. uh, turn to the miss said don't worry i <sighs> wow got to deliver here my life is on it. Well, the life of my mother, the life of Christian Chiller's um, sick mother is on this last line and I'm not feeling it. They turn to the late... The, don't worry. Let's think, what would be the perfect line and we could work backwards? It said, um, yesterday I... Ah. Got it. You ready? Turn to the miss. Pulled a bodiless head from behind and said, Is this it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Okay. (laughs) It's not great, but whatever. All right. Let's go back to the book. See what we need to do next. Name your song. Hmm. Anyone in chat want to give me a suggestion? Um, we could just call it Brave Young Sis, but that doesn't sound that great. Uh, Sis and the Miss. No. <laughs> um... Is 
he's not the smartest of bards. So I'm going to go for Mind Your Head. Why the hell not? Okay. Uh, performing your song. Once you have your song written, it's time for the Battle of the Bards. Roll a d6. The player with the lowest score goes first. I mean, it's only me. How does my bard take to the stage and launch into the song? Noisily, trips over some things. Their lute is out of tune and they start shouting. And we'll see what happens next. Uh, you can recite like a poem or spoken word, even sing it yourself. All right, here we go. So Christian gets to the stage, knocks over some things. Everyone's like coughing, like, who is this? His <clears throat> brave young sis was visited by a lost young miss. People are intrigued. She sat on the hearth and unburdened her heart. There's some groans here at that rhyming couplet. She explained her ask. She had an impossible task. This gets their attention. Her best friend was a miss. She pounded her fist. And of course, Christian pounds a table on the stage at this point and knock something flying there's a little bit of uh, captivation in the audience here after a lifetime of care she was no longer so fair and had taken an evil lair the crowd are intrigued young sis asked her to describe this friend for life she gave the best she could the audience were not impressed with that line that didn't really quite fit Sis thought, wait a moment, I know this face. Ooh, the audience are intrigued, what is the twist? Sis turned to the miss, pulled a bodiless head from behind and said, A few people are grossed out here, is this it? Which is pretty much the response of the audience at that point. It's like, is this it? And Christian leaves the stage. Once everyone has sung their songs, each player rolls a d6 to see how their bard's performance was. Maybe you'll be lucky. Let's see. Four. Above average. Um, let's do... Let's say there were three more people, and we'll see... Well, that's a six. <laughs> that's a one. And a four. So the two fours have to roll off. This is for the other person. It's a three. And Christian... Five. He comes second. Woo! It's not terrible. It's not the best, but it's okay. How does the winner react? He shouts very loudly. So much so that the actual winner's acceptance speech is drowned out. Um, why did the judge partic- choose that other song, the winner? Because it was much better, to be blunt. Why does the song last generations? It doesn't. It's famous for about ten minutes. Christian song is famous for about five minutes. He gets a few shows. It's okay. How does it change the world around it? Mm. (laughs) I don't think it does. But how it changes the world, and this is a little sad maybe. Christian, he gets all these shows. He goes on the road. And when he gets home, his mother is even sicker and he hasn't really solved the problem. He's had a good time. His mother says, don't worry, Christian. It's okay. I'm glad to die knowing you are happy. This makes him sad. And maybe he writes us another song about that in the future. Anyway, that was a bit of fun. That was Battle of the Bards by Dustin Winter. Apparently online somewhere, but I couldn't find it. Taken from Level 1, Volume 3, 2022 from this year of the free RPG Day Indie RPG Anthology. There's a lot of wonderful stuff in here. I will do some more next time. And you can find more by looking up Ninth Level Games and you will find their website quite easily, basically. It might even be on the back here. Um, No, strangely. It's all about the print. (laughs) Uh, No, strangely. (laughs) Anyway, it's all about the print. Great little book. I got it for free. I have another one actually from last year. And and that's that's basically that. Um, if you enjoyed this live playthrough, if you were listening or watching, listening at a later time, then uh, you can find more about me at christianchiller.com. You can find my other podcasts, my other videos. Uh, wherever you happen to be watching, subscribe, leave a message, say hi. What song would you have written? would love to hear. Um, I will be back next week I'm not sure with what exactly I'm actually going on a writing retreat next week so I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to be and what I'm going to do but I hope that was fun 
And uh, thank you very much for joining me, everybody. Take care and uh, keep gaming. <laughs>